Have you ever wondered how critical the role of troubleshooting is in maintaining the safety and airworthiness of an aircraft? When we speak of troubleshooting in aircraft systems, we're referring to a systematic process of diagnosing and fixing problems within the various systems on board an aircraft. This could be anything from the electrical, hydraulic, to the fuel systems. The importance of effective troubleshooting cannot be overstated. You see, maintaining the safety and functionality of an aircraft is a complex task. Even minor issues, if left unaddressed, can escalate into serious consequences. Imagine, for a moment, a small electrical glitch in the flight control system. If not spotted and rectified promptly, it could potentially compromise the aircraft's navigation and control, putting both the crew and passengers at risk. But how do we prevent such scenarios? Well, that's where the art and science of troubleshooting come into play. It's a process that begins even before the aircraft takes to the skies. It involves a thorough pre-flight inspection, where technicians understand the system and gather relevant information. Once in flight, any symptoms or indications of a malfunctioning system need to be promptly recognized. We might be talking about unusual noises, system warnings, or even erratic behavior of certain equipment. These are all potential red flags that need immediate attention. Then comes the diagnosis. Using specialized diagnostic tools and techniques, technicians work to pinpoint the problem. This is followed by the isolation stage where potential causes are narrowed down and functional tests are conducted to confirm faulty components. Once the issue is identified, it's time for resolution. This might involve repairing or replacing the faulty parts and verifying system functionality. And finally, every step of the troubleshooting process and the actions taken to resolve the issue are meticulously documented. So, we see that effective troubleshooting is a vital component of maintaining an aircraft's safety and functionality. It's a rigorous, methodical process that requires a keen eye, a deep understanding of aircraft systems, and a commitment to safety above all else. Now, how does one begin the troubleshooting process? It all starts with preparation and identification. Firstly, let's delve into the preparation stage. Here, understanding the system is pivotal. Imagine you're a detective on the hunt for clues to solve a mystery. You cannot hope to solve the case without first understanding the environment in which the crime was committed. Similarly, an aircraft technician must have a thorough understanding of the aircraft system they are working with. This knowledge helps them to gather relevant information and conduct a comprehensive pre-flight inspection. Remember, each system of an aircraft, be it electrical, hydraulic, or fuel, has its own unique characteristics, and understanding these is integral to effective troubleshooting. So before you roll up your sleeves to dive into the problem, take a moment to understand the system you're dealing with. Moving on from preparation, we step into the identification phase. Here the aim is to recognize symptoms and indications of a malfunctioning system. This is akin to a doctor diagnosing an illness based on the symptoms presented by a patient. In the world of aircraft systems, these symptoms could range from unusual noises to irregular instrument readings. Now, bear in mind not all symptoms scream out their presence. Some are subtle like a whisper in the wind, and it's the technician's job to hear that whisper. They must be vigilant, observant, and intuitive, picking up on any deviations from the norm, no matter how slight they may be. In essence, the identification phase involves a keen sense of observation, both of the aircraft system and of any anomalies that may arise. It's about recognizing the signs of a potential malfunction and responding in a timely manner. So, in a nutshell, the initial stages of the troubleshooting process involve a deep understanding of the system and a sharp eye for identifying potential issues. It's about being proactive, rather than reactive, and laying the groundwork for the subsequent steps in the troubleshooting process. Being prepared and able to identify potential issues forms the solid foundation of the troubleshooting process. With the groundwork laid, the next steps are diagnosis and isolation. The journey towards resolving an aircraft system issue is akin to solving a mystery, one where the safety of countless lives might be at stake. The diagnosis phase is when we take our gathered clues and start to make sense of them. This is where we use the full range of our technical knowledge, a variety of diagnostic tools, and a healthy dose of intuition to pinpoint the root cause of the problem. Picture a doctor trying to diagnose a patient's ailment. They would use their medical knowledge, patient history, and various tests to identify the disease. Similarly, an aircraft technician utilizes their understanding of the system, the symptoms, and diagnostic tools to identify the malfunctioning component. 
These diagnostic tools range from simple handheld devices to complex computerized systems that can analyze data in real time. They help us interpret the signs, symptoms, and data we've collected, guiding us towards the heart of the issue. Once we've diagnosed the problem, we move on to the isolation phase. This is the process of narrowing down potential causes and pinpointing the faulty components. We conduct functional tests to confirm our suspicions. Each test is a question we ask the aircraft and its responses help us further narrow down the possibilities. Imagine a detective isolating a culprit among a group of suspects. They would question each one, looking for inconsistencies in their stories or evidence that points towards one individual. In a similar manner, the technician questions each potential faulty component through functional tests, seeking the one that fails to perform as expected. The isolation phase is just as crucial as the diagnosis phase. It ensures that we don't waste resources repairing or replacing components that aren't causing the problem. It's a meticulous process that requires patience, precision, and a deep understanding of how each part interacts within the system. The ability to diagnose and isolate the problem accurately is a key skill in the art of troubleshooting. This skill, honed over time, is what makes an aircraft technician a true master of their craft. It's what keeps our skies safe and our aircraft functioning at their best. Once the problem has been isolated, it's time for resolution and documentation. In the resolution phase, it's all about repairing or replacing the faulty parts. This stage is where the rubber meets the runway, so to speak. It's where all that preparation, identification, and diagnosis pays off. The faulty component is removed, replaced, or repaired, and then it's time for the all-important system functionality check. Just replacing a part isn't enough, though. The integrity of the entire system needs to be verified. This means conducting functional tests to ensure that the system is operating as intended. It's a bit like solving a puzzle and then double-checking that all the pieces fit together perfectly. But this isn't where our journey ends. No, there's a critical step that we cannot afford to overlook and that's documentation. Documentation is the unsung hero of the troubleshooting process. It might not seem as glamorous as diagnosing a complex issue or replacing a vital component, but it is every bit as important. It's the written record of the problem and the solution, the proof that the issue was addressed and resolved. But documentation isn't just about covering your tracks. It's also a valuable learning tool. By recording what went wrong and how it was fixed, other technicians can benefit from this knowledge in the future. It's a bit like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs for others to follow. Documentation also plays a crucial role in maintaining the aircraft's safety and airworthiness. It's proof that all necessary steps have been taken to rectify the issue and that the aircraft is ready to take to the skies once more. In essence, resolution and documentation are the final crucial steps in the troubleshooting process. They ensure that the issue has been addressed the solution implemented, and the whole process recorded for future reference. Resolving the issue and documenting the process completes the troubleshooting cycle, ensuring the aircraft's safety and reliability. But how does one acquire the skills and knowledge necessary for effective troubleshooting? This is where the role of training and expertise comes into play. No one is born with an innate ability to troubleshoot complex aircraft systems. It is a skill that is carefully honed over time, through rigorous training, and hands-on experience. Training and expertise are the cornerstones of effective troubleshooting. They provide technicians with a deep understanding of aircraft systems, enabling them to quickly and accurately identify problems. But this isn't just about knowledge, it's about applying that knowledge in real-world situations. Under pressure, when the stakes are high, training courses like those offered by the International Civil Aviation Organization or ICO are specifically designed to equip maintenance technicians and engineers with these crucial skills. These courses offer a comprehensive overview of aircraft systems, along with the tools and techniques used in troubleshooting. But they also include practical exercises that enable trainees to apply what they've learned in real-world scenarios. These training programs aren't just about memorizing facts or procedures. They're about developing a deep, intuitive understanding of how aircraft systems work and how to identify and rectify faults. It's this kind of expertise that can make the difference between a minor inconvenience and a major incident. But training isn't a one-time thing. The field of aviation is constantly evolving, with new technologies and systems being introduced all the time. That's why it's so important for technicians to engage in continuous learning. 
keeping their skills and knowledge up to date. In addition to formal training, there are also numerous resources available that provide in-depth knowledge and practical skills. These include specialized textbooks, online resources, and hands-on training programs. So as you can see, training and expertise play a pivotal role in aircraft systems troubleshooting. They're the foundation upon which all other troubleshooting skills are built. With the right training and experience, technicians can effectively troubleshoot and rectify faults contributing to the safety and efficiency of aircraft operations.